POC Network here with another unboxing. This time we have something coming from Eris. And to answer a lot of the questions that have been popping up recently, uh, both in mail and other platforms, uh, a lot of our readers have been uh, really asking what is the best cable modem out there right now? Uh, something for speed and stability and all that fun stuff because you want it to work and you want a network that's reliable and something you're not gonna have to reboot every five minutes. And of course, something that's gonna be able to actually handle the speeds that some of our newer connections we're seeing these days with uh, some of the ISPs, you know, like Gigablast and so forth. And, well, we have an answer for that. A lot of questions uh, sent around, do we recommend the 6190? Uh, we had some good things to say about that in the past. It was a really good modem from Eris, for the most part, for the, the, the average consumer. However, because it's use of the Puma chipset that was in there, there was a lot of latency and troubles with it. Uh, it really wasn't as stable as it could have been. It was a fast modem, and that's what really had impressed us at the time, is that it was blazing fast. It can actually keep up with some of those faster connections up to gigabit. But they promised 1.4 gigabits per second, and that was, you know, theoretical. They never really could push that because the gigabit or the, the Ethernet port on the modem was a gigabit anyways. And, uh, and the same thing applies to this, which is our answer. The newest and latest and greatest from Eris. Uh, actually, this is, uh, it's been out for a little while. This is their Doxus 3.1 modem. This is the SB8200. So if it came down to the question of what is the best cable modem out there for a high-speed connection, something that's stable, something you're not going to reboot all the time, you're looking at it right here. This is going to give you everything in terms of the speeds that the, S the SB6190 had to offer, but without all those uh, latency issues and, uh, and other issues that it had. This is going to solve a lot of that. You're going to have a stable connection. You're going to have speeds. This thing can handle up to like 10.8 gigabits or something like that. Uh, just 10 gigabits per second. I think it was just 10 gigabits per second. Uh, but you're not actually going to get that. That's the trick, is uh, the hardware inside, uh, since it's DOCSIS 3.1, has the ability to handle up to 10.8. But unfortunately, it's still using Ethernet, so you're still limited to 1 gigabit per second. But hey, that's still going to give you uh, a future-proof product for many years to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this thing open. We're going to see what it looks like on top of everything so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It, I mean, it looks exactly like the 6190, uh, but... The only difference is it has two Ethernet ports on the back. And the box is pretty simple. You have an Ethernet cable, and you have a plug for power, and you have the modem. And the modem, like I said, looks exactly like the 6190 for the, for the most part. Uh, the only difference, like I said, was the two Ethernet ports in the back. And the, there is a catch to that, you know, because they advertise this, you got two Ethernet ports, therefore you have up to two gigabits per second that you can push on this modem, which is true, you can. With the Quaxel connection coming into the building and uh, into your home and attaching to the back of this modem, you can push two gigabits per second if you really wanted to. However, the ISP is only going to allow you one to begin with because your IP address is only going to be assigned to that one port. To actually make use of the second port, you're actually going to have to call your ISP and say, hey, I need a second uh, address coming to this other port so that way I can make use of both ports. And they're typically going to charge you more money, usually around like $10 a month, sometimes more, depending on what service you go through. But that would allow you to have two one gigabit port access points for your house so you can have one going to say your router and one going to you know let's say a media server or your xbox playstation 4 something like that anything you want a dedicated line running to uh, and you're willing to pay, pay ten dollars plus a month for but this is the 8200 it is a fantastic modem it's got all the speeds you need to be able to keep up with today's modern high-speed access plans, including, you know, those gigabit plans that some of the companies like Cox have been offering. So if it was a toss-up between the 6190 and the 8200, we would recommend the 8200. Or if you're looking for a Doxis 3.1 modem in general, and you're trying to figure out which one of them are the best, you know, is it Netgear? Uh, is it going to be uh, this one? It's this one. Uh, this has more memory. Uh, it can handle a lot. It's a pretty tough little modem for its size. And uh, it, it's been popping up on sale left and right lately. In fact, right now it's on Amazon at this very moment in time, I believe, for like $139. So originally it was like $179 or something, you know. So it's coming down in price here and there on certain sales. So it's a prime time to get it. It's been out since last year. Give it a try. Uh, everybody's been uh, really having a lot of uh, great comments to share about this. Uh, both here and on other places like Amazon and 
you know, the feedback really paints the picture you need. So go check it out, the 8200. And uh, we'll also give it a test ourselves since we finally got our hands on one here. Uh, took long enough. And we'll let you know if we find anything that we don't like about it. But if we do, we'll make sure to have a story about that. But I'm guessing we're not. But we might have a story either way. If we do, it'll be at plcnetwork.net. And that's it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any kind of comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment area. And of course, there's that subscription button down there. Feel free to click it. We'd love to have you following us. And as always, we thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff button. Click it.